the math and science guy, back here with some scientific notation. Uh, scientific notation provides a way to write numbers using powers of 10. So our first example, we have 2,770,000. We're going to write that in scientific notation. So our first step is to move the decimal point to get a decimal greater than 1 but less than 10. So our decimal is here, and to do that we're going to move it right here to this point. It's greater than 1 but less than 10. So we end up with 2.77. Um, we drop the zeros after the 7. That's our second step. Now after you do that, you move the decimal point six places from here to here. Um, the original number is greater than 10, so we put an exponent of 6. So our in scientific notation, we'd write 2.77 times 10 to the 6th. In this case, when we're writing scientific notation for a number that's between 0 and 1, as it is in this case, um, we uh, move the decimal, just like we did in the first place example, we move the decimal to get the decimal be, uh, greater than 1 but less than 10. So we're moving it to the right in this case. And just like before, we're going to write it without the zeros. So we're going to write 7.9 times 10. And then we've got to determine what our uh, exponent's going to be. So we moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. Now in this case, we move the decimal point 5 places. The original number right here is less than 1, so we use a negative exponent, a negative 5 exponent. And that's our scientific notation. So we have 7.9 times 10 to the minus 5th. And that's it. Oh, for our uh, uh, math and science guy, we're going to draw a little picture here showing the baseball diamonds, since it is the World Series. And draw our home plate. Just draw it like this. And the runners are going from home plate, especially last night after the Giants game, to here to here. And back around to home plate and we'll just draw our stick guy running. Uh, kind of off the chart here, but he's kind of upside down. We can show him running around the bases. <laughs> So we'll put some legs on them here, and uh, here we go. Well, let's call this a grand slam, and that's it. Have a good one.